representing Team Five Pit, it's Daniel Bainbridge. I'm Connor Halliday, once again alongside Mr. Danny Misson. Here we go. Nice sidekick straight away from Luke Burns. Both guys uh, just throwing single strikes to start with. Nice Beautiful head, head kick by and Burns, and he follows up with that. Okay, wow. now he's getting those he's getting those legs going. Yeah, he's, uh, he's loose straight away. For the first 30 seconds, he's thrown a spinning back kick. Yeah. You know, we're in for something special. <laughs> Both guys decently sized for bantamweight as well. Nice leg kicks there from Bainbridge. And another wheel kick Ooh. that landed that time. Heel straight to the temple there. Relatively unfazed though as he comes forward. Oh, nice right hand there from Burns. Both looking like the, the young lads as well. They're coming out strong. Burns just pinning Bainbridge up against Gage, but he does the right thing, shoots the underhook and just scoots out. Yeah, nice control up against the cage now. He's uh, Now the, the action slowed down a little bit. We'll see uh, how the control up against the cage. Nice turn there from Burns. Both using that underhook nicely. Beautiful knees going in from both sides here. Yeah, it's good work from both guys. Both guys from good gyms as well, obviously. Uh, Burns has got Dean Garnett in his corner, right next to him as well, so that's always good. Nice throw from Luke Burns. Beautiful counter there. It looked like Bainbridge has got his head in, under hook, and turned him, and he just used the momentum just to go for the outside uh, outside leg trip, hip throw, whatever you want to yeah, we'll call it. it. We'll go with one of them. Let's, let's make a name <laughs> They've got uh, Luke Burns in the, in the, uh, the guard of, of Bainbridge now. Bainbridge got his butterfly hook in on one side. He covers his guard back now. Beautiful strikes there. Again, four straight into Burns our Burns just there. putting it on him now. Yeah, not giving Bainbridge any space. Bainbridge just looking to control the pace with that butterfly. Well, he's got the wrong butterfly in because the cage is preventing him from doing anything really with it. These shots are big as well, Danny. These ones that are landing You from can the top. feel them. You're like, they say the silent ones, you know, they're the, they're the killers, but... My God, you can feel you can feel the force landing on Bainbridge's face yeah. with each shot. He's eating them well, though. Doesn't look, uh, doesn't look phased at all right now. Looking for an arm. Oh, that was good hit movement there from, from Bainbridge. And he gets up. Just got a bit of a chin strap control. Now it's Burns looking to fish that other arm in, but Bainbridge. Oh, and he's gone for the he's gone for the das. Drags him to the floor. Now can he get a fit? Okay, spoke too soon yeah. there. Yeah, did well to use the das to pull him yeah, down. Yeah, he looked though. like he had it locked in. I wouldn't know why he'd uh, let it go, but he obviously had other plans in mind. Yeah, now we've got Bainbridge up against the cage. Burns goes for another throw, but doesn't get it. Some big shots landing from Bainbridge now. Beautiful work to the body there by Bainbridge. Ball for the last 10 seconds there. Now I him. Burns nice just getting knee. coached from the outside. He's got some nice trips and throws. Yeah, Simon Stadniki gets us underway for round number two. This bantamweight bout here at Almighty Fighting Championship 13. Nice counter there from Bainbridge. And Bainbridge just looking like he's got his range in and his confidence a bit oh. more in this second round. Burns eight, a left hook there. And just like that, the significant strikes in yeah. this round belong to Bainbridge so far. But as soon as Bainbridge started to land, Burns shot straight in for a takedown. A very smart move from a young from a young guy. We hear about fight IQ all the time, and it's not necessarily what to do when you're on the front foot, but what to do, you know, keeping your composure when, when you're facing a bit of adversity. And definitely a smart move there to take it to the floor. You've got Bainbridge just working that left, a left whizzer. Maybe looking to set up a triangle or something, but he yeah, needs well, to take... Yeah, we saw in the first round, he had good hip movement going for that arm bar. He's probably confident of working off of his back. That's the problem with, like, the old semi-pro rules, they used to get you confident working off your back, but then when we went UAR like this, yeah. you could have headshots and stuff, you know. Then you had to learn to take top position yeah, yeah, because exactly, you could yeah. be the best on the back, but, you know, every punch you're getting a little bit worse. Burns just opening up a little bit now. Uh, from inside the guard. Nice movement there from Beautiful. Burns. Transitions to a knee bar attempt, but Burns jumps straight glued up to it, back. jumps the back and gets his hooks in. Trying to flatten him out now is, uh, is Luke Burns. Good control from Luke Burns. And this is when it helps to have experienced guys like Dean Garnett in your corner because you can hear them over anybody in the crowd right now and... Uh, they're definitely oh. tell, giving him the right instructions and telling him what to do. Chokes just sinked under the uh, no, that's chin. It, that's on the neck, that. 
It's a wait and get up. He's fighting the arm. He's gone, he's gone palm to palm. Oh, and and it's over. Tap. Brilliant work from Luke Burns there. Your winner by rear naked choke.